What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having another dope day today. You can call me Spree and welcome back to another Madden 20 video. Today we are back and we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Now as you will all know, content is coming to an end in Madden 20. We have the rookie premiere, we're not expecting any more promos. We're going to get power of expansion, we're going to get ultimate legends and that's probably going to be it for the rest of the year. That means we have 8 weeks to grind out until Madden 21 comes out. Now I definitely haven't given up on this game. I'm still really enjoying the editing and the creative process that goes into making these videos. On top of that, I think this is definitely a great opportunity need to jump in and try to learn a few more things that you can carry over into Madden 21. So with that in mind, today is going to be the very first episode in a new series where I go ahead and learn a new formation, a new play, some new skills, something that will make me that little bit better in terms of a Madden player, something I can carry forward into Madden 21. Now my very first goal is to go ahead and learn how to stop and go. If you've checked out any of my previous videos, you'll know pretty quickly that I don't have any stick. So I'm hyped to learn how to make people look silly. Now being completely honest, the reason I wanted to go ahead with the stop and go first is I have been inspired by checking out some of the videos and some of the plays by Dubby. If you haven't gone ahead and checked out Dubby, I will put his details down in the description below. Dubby is a pro player that plays with Reckless Abandon. The stick that he has when he's running around with Michael Vick is crazy. Go check out his Twitch streams, go check out his YouTube videos. He has a lot of really, really entertaining content, so definitely go ahead and check him out. In one of his videos, he goes ahead and teaches you how to do the stop and go. Now, I'm going to be using it as a basis for my tutorial, learning how to do do it. Lastly, before we get into it, if you enjoy the video, if you enjoy the content, definitely feel free to pop down and hit that like button down below. There's also a subscribe button down there if you want to check out what we do in the future as well. I think that's going to be about it. Bear with me. I'm not 100% sure the process we're going to take to go ahead and learn how to do this, but I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be entertaining. So definitely stick with me. Okay, step one, we're going to need the right playbook and we're going to need the right personnel. Okay, so the main goal for today is to learn how to stop and go. I want to know how to do it and do it well, do it consistently. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up up a new offense. We're going to go with the Panthers. They have some really good design QB runs. Perfect for the new quarterback pickup for the team. For today, we don't have Josh Allen leading the team. Instead, we are going to be going with this man, the MVP, Lamar Jackson. Looking at his stats, they are looking crazy. 99 speed, 99 throw power, almost 99s across the board. I haven't had a chance to use a 99 speed quarterback all year. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. For his abilities, we're going to go with human joystick, trying to get all wiggly. We've got fast breaks, we've got better ball control. We've got escape ladder so we can get outside the pocket and we've got hot route masters so when we need to we can try and throw some dots. For our other two ability guys we've got Bo, we've got Julio, both are going to have human joystick. I'm going to run on conservative to make sure I'm not spinning, juking, I'm just focusing on trying to stop and go. Now I understand the idea for a stop and go, I know you're sprinting, you take your finger off the sprint, you change direction, you accelerate, you dumb out the defender. But I haven't really had a chance to practice it, so I think we're just going to jump on into a game, try it out, see what the stick skills are looking like. Alright, let's see how we go. QB power. And <laughs> we get rocked. Not, not good, not good. Not a good start. Alright, let's try and get the run going again. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got it. Oh, I tried. I tried, I promise. Oh. Oh. So close, I should have gone for the touchdown. But I wanted to get it. Thanks. So I'm good. Oh, yeah, that's sticky. Yeah, maybe not, maybe not. Oh. Now I'll take the win, but I think it's pretty clear that this stop and go definitely needs a lot of work. We got into open field a bunch of times, but we were slow, we were janky, we went random directions, I ran into defenders instead of away from them. So I think step three is pretty obvious. We're gonna go and check out Dovey's video. We're going to learn how to stop and go, and then I'm gonna jump into practice mode and see if I can get it on lockdown. A few moments later. All right, I've been in practice mode for a little while now with your boy Lamar Jackson, practicing, just going up the field. We're starting on the 10 yard line. We have no defense, just getting used to the movements. Like I said earlier, go check out that video by Dubby. He does a great job of explaining everything. Essentially, we're just going up and down the field getting used to it. And I think you can already tell most of the movements are a lot smoother. I mean, we've got the stop and go largely on lockdown. I mean, we make a few janky movements here, but overall, feeling a lot better about it. I think the main thing that I'm keeping an eye on now is the angle of my cut. So that's a bad movement there, but we're back, we're back, we're trash. We're back, <laughs> we're still trash. So I wanna be able to go stop, stop, go, and then change angle as well. So just trying to figure out how much of an angle I can go. If I go too much, he does that little skip slide that I don't wanna see. So let's try that again. That looks good. 
see, we don't want the skip slide, we don't want that. So that's pretty good. I think 45 degrees seems to be probably as much as it can go, so something to keep going. But I'm gonna keep practicing for a little bit, and when I'm ready to go, we can jump into another game. One hour later. Now I've stayed in practice mode just to get used to running against the defense. Now there's pursuit angles to think about, there's teammates as blockers to think about, so just running against this has been pretty helpful. I think the stop and go is really good for picking up more blocks. Oh, oh, fumble, fumble eye, jumble eye, my goodness. Again, get into the outside. Wait to pick up a block. Mark Ingram, be better. All right, get to the outside. See if we can pick up a block. Attaboy, Mark. Pick up that, damn it, Mark. Damn it. I mean, that, does that count? What do you reckon? What do you reckon, does that count? Outside, stop. The block, get the outside, nice. Oh, yes, sir. Get the outside, pick up that block. Yes, that's the angle that we want. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Pedal into the end zone. Beautiful. Get to the outside, pick up that block, nice. He's gone. No way is someone catching him here. Yes. Celebrate into the end zone. Skip on in, my guy. I think we've got everything we can out of practice mode. Let's jump back into a game. Step four, practicing against real opponents in real game situations. Let's get it. Hey. Oh, oh. I mean, yeah, nothing really there. Oh, he's, he might be giving it to me. Get to the outside. Oh, we got it. Oh. I mean, that kind of worked. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, that's a dot, 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 dot. Practice. Practice on my intercept, intercept receipt. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> Still need some work, I think. Nope. Ciao, Felicia. Back with the trusty. Inside zone. Ooh. Go with the read option, shall we? Let's try to get to the outside. Attaboy, Lamar. If he gives me time, it's gonna be a hot dot. Oh my goodness, he gave it to me. Yes, sir. Stop and go. Damn. I'll take the touchdown, though. Do we get it? Do we get it? Oh, I don't know if that counts, but that looked like it's only for me. Oh, throw it straight to me, my guy. Thank you. Oh, we did it. We did it, go bro. Ooh, so that looked pretty good too. Oh, we got it. Woo! I don't think the stop and go helped at all, but we'll take it. There's another one. You're sicky. Not quite, not quite. Get to the outside. Ooh, okay. We'll take the first down. Oh, I missed it, I missed it. Missed opportunity there. All right, fourth and eight. Let's see if we've got a dot, a hot dotty. We did step up in the pocket. That's a dot. Thank you, good sir. And let's hand it off. Oh, I tried, I tried, I really tried, I promise. <laughs> I literally can't resist. Win or lose, we're going for it. There we go. Oh. Try one more time with Lamar. Get to the outside. Boo! Now, I did say I wasn't really concerned about wins, we just want to be practicing learning how to stop and go, but playing a guy that runs near close flex, blitzes seven and just prays, has three D-line chems, definitely happy to get a win against someone like that. Now after that, I definitely think we still need a lot of work. We managed to hit it a couple of times, we used it, we got open, we might have scored a touchdown or two from it as well, but our stop and go is definitely in progress. I'm gonna jump into a couple more games, see if we can get some highlight real plays.
Oh, that was a little bit of a stop and go. Does that count? Mine. Oh, really? Boo. Alright, we get a chance to start off with the ball. Come on, Christian. Oh. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> it's an outside. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fourth and seven. We will take the touchdown. No stop and go, but uh, we'll take seven. Damn it. <laughs> I tried. I promise. Naughty. Damn it, another game we can't get it done. We had some more opportunities we just can't seem to execute. We're open. We're scoring touchdowns. I'm liking this formation. We're kind of just labbing on the go, but our stop and goes we still need a lot of work. Ooh, we tried, we tried. Oh yeah, we'll take that. Oh, he got rocked. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Hands up if you got no stick. Yes. Oh, we went for it. Damn, that could have been great. Dot. Let's go. God damn it, our stuff and guys still really trash, but. We are uh, having fun in this new formation. Oh, we were close. We were this close. Damn. You look. You look here to see. Get on, Lamar. Get on, Lamar. Damn. 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 So close. Yeah, baby boy. For all the marbles. Get out of the map. Make him stick. Ooh, we try to get sticky. We try. We try to ice the game scrambling with Lamar. We couldn't do it. Throw the bomb. Oh, he tripped. He tripped. <laughs> oh, goodness. Now that's what I've been trying to do this whole time. God damn it. Really? You wanna give him that? Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, alright. Fair enough. Oh, he's gonna give us a chance to return this. Make him. Get out of bounds. Alright, we'll take a little dink and dunk. No rush there. Power outs. Ah, damn it. Was that a cover two? Ah, oh, we'll never know. Oh well, that's gonna be a shame that we let that one slip away, but hey, we risked it for the biscuit. We wanted to be great right at the end there. We weren't able to get it done. But overall, that was a hell of a lot of fun. We played a bunch of games. We got into open field. We had chances to do the stop and go. I reckon I probably did it maybe 20-30% of the time. Most of the time I was running backwards. It's a lot harder to do when I'm going against an opponent. I think I just need to get used to it. I need to do a bit more practice. Just get in the rhythm of doing it. Not doing it every time as well. A lot of those times I probably could have taken them to the house if I just kept running straight. Or at least gotten big gains. Instead I went for the stop and go. And instead of going forward for 50 yards, I'm running backwards and only taking like a 3-4 yard gain. So something I have to remember in the future. Now was I able to achieve my goal? Did I learn how to do the stop and go? Eh, debatable, right? I know how to do it. Sometimes I can do it. But overall, implementing it, using it in the game, eh, probably not so much. Something I want to keep working on, obviously. I definitely don't have the stick skills. Definitely nothing compared to a pro like Delby. But hey, that's going to be something that we can work on over these next few months. Something that we can hopefully take with us into Madden 21. But with that, I think we're going to leave it there. I had a lot of fun with Lamar Jackson. That Panthers playbook was a lot of fun. So those QB runs, something that I want to be able to add to the game. Maybe I'll stick with Lamar Jackson, get rid of Josh Allen. We'll see how we go there. But overall, I had a lot of fun. I think I can say that I know how to do a stop and go. I wouldn't specifically say that I've learned to do it. But... 
This is just going to be the first episode of the series. I'm excited to go ahead and learn a bunch of new things that I can do, take with me into Madden 21. Now, like I said earlier in the video, if you enjoy the video, if you enjoy the content, definitely feel free to pop down, hit that like button down below. If you want to check out what we do in the future, there is a subscribe button down there as well. Now, I've already thought a little bit about the video that I'm going to go with next. Obviously, I want to continue the series, keep building on these skills. There's a bunch of formations like Big Dime Wolf or Six, Near Close, Gun Bunch, really popular, really good formations that I haven't used all year long. So I reckon if I find a pro, find some really good tutorials, maybe I can go ahead and learn that, see if we can get glitchy with a new offense or a new defense. If you think one of those is going to be a little bit more interesting, definitely let me know in the comment section below. If you know any tutorials, if you know any tips, any pros running that particular offense, defense, or any particular skill maybe that you suggest, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I want to know who to turn to so I can up my game. And with that, that is us for today, folks. Thank you very much for coming through. I really do appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take it easy, everyone. You can call me Spree, and we out.